A big thank you for Mama Mio for becoming an exclusive patron. If you want to become a patron too, you can go to my Patreon, which is in the link in the description. Patrons can get PSD files and sneak peeks at my newest art. Also, I now have prints available on my website. If you want to buy them, they're pretty cheap and they look pretty nice, not gonna lie. You can also buy the PSD files here for about $2 if you're pretty interested in looking at them. Anyways, back to the video. Hey, what's up? It's me, your favorite artist, back with a shirt tutorial. I know you guys wanted like a full-on clothes tutorial, but that tutorial would take me an hour. I mean, not an, it wouldn't take me an hour. It would be the length of an hour, and I doubt you guys would want to watch that. So today I have the shirt tutorial. Before you watch this, be sure to watch my color tutorial and my brush tutorial, because then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, after you watch that, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get the hard brush. Okay. Then we're going to get the second, uh, shade color. So when you're shading clothes, think more triangular, triangularly, because, um, a, a, like a big mistake I see people do is I see them get like, I see them draw a lot of parallel lines with it. And then I see them just only shade the outer. I see them going like this, you know, and then, you know, a couple, fuck, a couple parallel lines, you know? Yeah, that's, that's not really that good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to first draw or shade her torso and her boobs. So what I do first is I do something called sketching the shading. So basically it's like sketch, uh, it, it's in the name. So we're just gonna basically sketch our shade. So what I first know is that her boobs would be shaded underneath and then it would kind of fade off into this part. And then what else I know is that these folds are gonna produce some shading and look, I'm doing it in like a triangular shape. These folds would have shading to them and this is what i mean by triangularly they're like producing a triangular shape and then they fade off into the um light part we're gonna do the same for this one we're gonna sketch two lines we're gonna make this one connect up here a good thing to do with um these kind of wrinkles too is connect some of them don't connect all of them but having some variety and like folds can help a lot so what i'm going to do is connect this line right here with this line right here and i'm going to do that in a triangular way so right here i'm making a kind of triangle and i'm just kind of making them connect with each other i'm going to also do this so this is clearly separate from this part I'm gonna fix this so this is what we have now we have a triangular triangular a fold connecting from here to here and we're having a fold just going off to the distance now I'm going to put a line right here, make it a triangle and just kind of sketching it inside a word. So then it makes a new wrinkle, another wrinkle right here connected with the bottom of this fold right here. We're just going to sketch up, see a triangular fold right here. Then we're just going to generically shade these bottom two parts. And then I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to kind of make a triangle shape right here and I'm just kind of fold it that way all right so you see adding a bunch of triangle fold folds helps you create more variety in folds and it makes it look more diverse and it gives it a nice look all right and now we're gonna go back we're gonna do the arms this time so there's these two lines right here we're gonna make a triangle kind of shape so like that we're going to do the same with the other side, a triangle shape. And then these, this color is kind of like blocking off the sunlight to the bottom of it. So of course there would be no light here. So that's what I'm going to do here. Then I'm going to make the shadow sharper. Okay. What color was I using? Okay. Now onto the arms. So basically arms would have a natural sh uh, shadow of something like that, but that's kind of boring. I don't like to do that. What I like to do is I like to give arms like a um, a unique shape or a new uni unique shade of, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I like to do cool shapes, okay? Make them look interesting and not really, not 
naturally boring. At least that's my preference. You don't have to do it that way. That's just how I do it. So what we're going to do is that uh, there's a line right here. We're going to create a triangle from that. We're going to create a cool looking square thing like that. Um, we're going to do that because that's where a shadow would be. And then we're going to, from for this little arms uh, arm part right here, since the fabric is kind of getting squished there, we're going to do a triangle right here. We're, we're going to do a smaller triangle. Um, I don't know. All right, hold up. I'm going to erase this part. This kind of makes it feel like the cloth is going all over the place. All right, instead of a closed triangle, we're going to do an actual triangle. That looks like this. I'm going to keep that part. And then we're going to do another one that goes here because the fabric is being scrunched up. So, of course, it would kind of look like this. All right, then I'm going to go back and kind of fix these to make it more. Uh, all right, like that. So that looks fine to me. We're gonna maybe re-add this. Let me see how this looks. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. All right. Now you you see these little lines right here. This is indicating that the fabric is being twisted because our arms are kind of twisting the fabric. So when you're doing this, you want to have lines indicating that it's being, you know, twisted. So what we're gonna do is with these two lines, we're gonna add a triangle right here. And then we can do like two or three lines just showing that the fabric is being twisted. Now what we're going to do here is that since the, damn it, since, uh, since the collar is over the fabric, we're going to do it so then like it's blocking out the sun. So we're just going to add this to show that this part is above this. And then we're going to also shade the, um, her elbow. So what we're going to do is just add a line right there and then just like a general shade right here. And then to make it interesting, I'm just going to add a little uh, Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, I'm going to take off that line actually. That looks yeah, that looks better. All right. Now we're going to do the same for the other arm. So we're going to do a unique shape of um uh, of shading since we don't want to be too boring I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do this we're going to add a generic shadow right here since the hair would be covering this part right here we're going to do the little arm triangles we're going to try to keep it disconnected from this part so I'm going to do that um, I'm going to do my shading color then we're going to do another arm triangle right here like that and then we're going to do the little line arms the lines right here to show that the fabric is being twisted we're going to do the collar is blocking the uh the the fabric lighting right here then we're going to do the elbow and then yeah so this is basically sketching out the base now what we're going to do is refine the shading. So what I'm going to do is first of all, fix this part because this part's kind of bothering me. We're going to go over with the base and kind of erase some parts to make it more symmetrical. And then we're going to add some shading right here. And then since this part would kind of be covered, we're going to fix that and kind of make it a middle part. All right. So basically what we're doing here now is refining the shading, adding more details to it. All right. And now I don't know. I don't really think I have to refine that much. I don't really have to refine a lot. Um, yeah, everything looks fine. All right. Since well, I mean, it looks fine by me. What we're going to do now is go to the third base color. And then what I do with this color is that I like to start off over here. I redraw the lines for these things and then at a shorter distance I kind of blend it in with the medium part of it. So then it's like a gradient going from very dark to medium. And then I'm just going to kind of go over here. And then with these, yeah, you just do these for all like the little triangle parts you have. For generic shading, I'm just going to kind of put it where it makes sense to put them at. So like the darkest parts. 
And then for these little triangle things, I like to outline them and then just kind of blend it in inward. And then that kind of creates like that kind of effect. And then, okay, nice. Now for the boobs, we're gonna do the same thing we did for this triangle. We're gonna dot, we're gonna outline this part where the light meets the dark. We're gonna outline that. We're gonna do it the same for this side. And then we're gonna fix it. Okay, that looks fine. We're gonna do this too. Then what I'm gonna do is do that to add more like more of a wrinkles, you know? And then I'm gonna kind of blend it out right here. I'm gonna do this for both of them. I'm gonna just blend it out. Now, since this is the darkest part inside of it, we're gonna just add shadow right here. And then, yeah, I'm gonna continue to blend this out so I can, yeah. See, it looks fine now, because it is. Okay, now that we did that, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put a wrinkle right here to show that this is where they are separated. This is more of like a help the, the looker, I guess, I don't know how to call them, like show like where the boobs end. And then I'm gonna kind of smudge it inside. So then, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna do with the torso for right now. Then onto the arms, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the triangle and the boobs. We're gonna outline these little parts right here. We're gonna outline them. We're gonna blend them inward. Like this. Uh, yeah, let's just focus on this one for right now. Since this is a little triangle thing, we're just gonna do the same thing we did for the little uh, things right here. We're gonna do that. For these, since these are triangles, we're gonna outline them with the black. And then since these are triangle folds, we're gonna do the same thing we did. And then for this part, I'm just gonna cover it all with the darkest color. And then right here, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the triangles. And then I'm gonna blend these in. This is what we have so far. Okay, so where do we go from here? What I'm gonna do now is grab the reflection color. If you saw my color video and you know what that is, I'm gonna go to the darkest parts of the, uh, the drawing, which is like the triangles right here and like the edges right here and then under here i'm gonna go on the same layer go on the same layer and then with a soft brush tool i'm gonna just kind of skim over it uh hold up this is maybe we should make a normal yeah just make a nor a new normal layer and just kind of go underneath these parts like this and then for the darkest parts only, okay? Don't really overdo this part, or else it's gonna look bad. Only for the darkest parts. So like underneath these triangle thingies, right here, right here, right here. Uh, we're gonna do the boobs later. Just kinda add this at some point, so add it on all of them. And then, yeah. And then adjust it to how you feel is good. I'm gonna add some right here too. So I feel like right here is fine for me. And then what we're gonna do now is we are gonna do it for the boobs too. I'm gonna make a new normal layer. I'm gonna merge this with the bottom one. And then I'm gonna do this again. But what I'm gonna do is just kind of do like one simple one. And then just kind of fix it. And then, yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make a new multiply layer and just with the soft brush, I'm just gonna sketch where hard, like generic shadows would be. So like, of course there'd be a shadow there. There'd be a shadow here. There'd be a little bit of shadow here. I'm gonna put a shadow here. We're gonna put a shadow here. Shadow in between here. And then 
This bottom would also have some shadow to it. Shadow here. Shadow on the bottom. Shadow here. And then, see? So it's like generic shading. I'm going to kind of add some soft here. And then I'm going to fix it and then just kind of maybe put it at half. And then this is going to make it feel like it's more 3D instead of 2D. So then it's going to be like that. All right. Lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new Lumen, uh, Lumion shade layer. We're going to take this color right here, right here. And then we're going to, um, to figure out where we're going to put it, I'm just going to kind of like make it really hard. So we're going to put it right here because this is more, this is more of like a reflection color. So don't overdo this, but just kind of put it where reflections would be. And then, yeah, this kind of helps contrast the light with the dark. And then you can kind of fix this to where you feel like a good point would be. I'm going to kind of blend this out a little so it doesn't look too obvious. And then I'm going to make it like that. Now, lastly, lastly, we're going to get a new uh, normal layer. We're going to take a saturated, like this kind of color. And then on the edges, we're going to... Um, on the edges, we're going to kind of just like shade with this color on the edges of the drawing though. We're not going to do too much of this. And then over here. And then on the bottom of here. Very lightly though. Not very lightly, I mean like a little bit. And then I'm gonna edit it to be like about like right there. So what this does is that it makes a, you won't be able to see it cause I have a sketching thing. I'm gonna take it off for like a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna set it at like right there. So what this does is that it makes it look like there's more lighting. So it makes it more like a 3D image. So we have the darks, we have the lights, like the Lumion shading. We have this color, which kind of contrasts the dark blue and gives it like a more 3D image. This is like the color this guy is supposed to be. Um, I can't, this is like reflective lighting. Uh, I can't really explain to you that in this video because this is a closed tutorial. But yeah, doing this helps the color stand out more. And it gives it more of like a 3D feel to it. So yeah, put this only at edges and don't overdo this a lot. I don't know if I did it, overdid it right now, but just kind of put it only on the edges. Fix it so that it's not too harsh. And then yeah. So now we're finished with the shirt. I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you found it useful, try sharing it to a friend or something. Um, reminder that I have prints on my website, somenormalartist.com. And yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you next time.